So continuing with our outdoor theme, I'd like to bring attention to this lovely watch that I got for my graduation. When I did the Carvel one, I mentioned that my sister got it for me for my birthday slash Christmas. I also got the pocket watch, which I'll put a post up up there um, showing for the link for that one. And that one I got from my parents um, for my graduation from post-secondary. This one here is, I got this from my godmother when I graduated high school. And that was almost 20 years ago. So I'm outdating myself right now. Um, Hudson, not a lot of people know about Hudson or, or the aspect of Hudson. Um, this is, was actually the Hudson Bay. So the big store chains, the bay used to be called Hudson Bay. So they sold this gift set here. Um, I like this gift set, honestly. Um, this Swiss Army knife is fantastic. I use this majority, um, probably once a month, only because the bottle opener. <laughs> Other than that, it's, it is what it is. Uh, the flasher that came with it, I think I might have used it once in the last 20 years, and it's no good at all. Uh, the battery itself is all corroded and acidic in there. It's very bad. I'd literally just leave everything. But this is a watch channel. So let's talk about the watch itself. I absolutely love the look of this watch. It is very um, luxurious looking, stylish looking, designer, fashion looking. It's that thing that watch that you wear definitely like when you go to a fancy place or whatever wear a nice tuxedo you definitely want to wear a watch like this um it has if you notice the glass itself the cover here bubbles over therefore you see like the numbers a little bit more better um right now this watch unfortunately is dead i've changed the battery i think about a year ago no about four years ago i changed this one and it just recently just died on this one. So I'm actually have to do a change the battery on this one shortly, um, just because it's a very nice watch. And again, it's just that significant to me. Um, I do like it, the quality of the leather, it's fantastic. Again, I've had this for almost 20 years and the leather looks almost new on this one, little cracks on it, but it's still good and it works well. Um, if you look on the actual if you look on the actual hand itself you will see those lovely marks here here and in a very long time i haven't seen those the white mark on the second hand this does i can use this at night which is fantastic i honestly love the quality of this watch again i've had this for almost 20 years and barely any scratches on this almost looks brand new it's just a fantastic looking watch. It fits well on the wrist. So I'll just give it the good old wrist test. Therefore you can understand what it looks like. So there it is on the wrist. It is pretty much at the limit of thickness in which I want my watches to be on. I would love to switch out the band and probably get, um, not such a stiff, leather watch itself like bend but more of um, a softer or even a cloth like um, feel to it but I think if I did that it will lose its fashion slash designer look on it but it's really is a fantastic watch to wear um, back to like I always always talk about water resistance um, definitely no shower no washing of dishes um, keep this far away from rain for me um, just because of I don't want it to be tarnished in any way shape or form um, I do like how it is bulgy on the side here which I'm not a fan of it but this one I'm okay with it almost reminds me of what uh, the Hamilton um, crap I forgot the, the other watch was similar to this style here if you guys know what it is I know the three watches are like that but I think it's also the P Pandoria or something like that. I, I'm not too sure what that watch is called, but it reminds me of one of those watches that have that style here like that. But like always, 
stay tuned and enjoy. And once again, I'm, I'm loving the lighting outside. It makes everything more pop more. Take care.